Nat gas prices have turned around to show signs of life, and it looks like we will try to get to the $3 level above. Prices have risen by nearly 15% for the month, extending the second quarter gain to almost 22%, and are expected to continue to increase throughout the summer due to a slight decline in production and an anticipated rise in demand for air conditioning, leading to higher usage of natural gas in the electric power sector. However, natural gas prices still remain approximately three times lower than the levels observed in June of the previous year, amid increased supply in the U.S., a mild winter experienced in the Northern Hemisphere during 22-23, and strong stockpiles in Europe. Meanwhile Russia produced 1398 billion cubic feet of natural gas in May, down 19.3% from the same month last year, according to data published on Wednesday by the Rosstat Statistics Office. LNG output in January May decreased by 3.8% year-on-year to 13.7 million tons, according to Rosstat. This may have a strong impact on nat gas prices later this year. Looking ahead, forecasts indicate hot high pressure impacting the southern U.S. and up the Mississippi Valley, resulting in strong demand. West will also experience hot weather, while the east warms up. Texas, on the other hand, will see a cooling trend over the weekend and next week. Overall, the nat gas market is influenced by hotter than normal weather is expected to persist through mid-July, and there has been an increase in gas flow to LNG export plants after maintenance outages. On a daily basis, total feeds to the seven LNG export facilities rose to a four-week high of 12.8 billion cubic feet per day on Wednesday, as the amount of gas flowing to Sabine jumped about 2 billion per day over the past week to around 4.2 billion per day. The market sentiment for nat gas is bullish, but the price is approaching the main resistance area at $3, which may pose a challenge for further upward movement. If the market were to break above the $3 level, then it's likely that we could at least go to the $4 level. Overall, this remains a buy on the dip situation, the market shows potential for continued bullishness, but the resistance area requires careful observation.